Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I'm a little bit nervous for, the, for this video actually, we've got a little bit of a uh, spill the tea. So I asked on Instagram any assumptions you guys have got about me, blah blah blah. And I've also picked up a Starbucks, this isn't Starbucks, a Costa for the video. I was also meant to be getting a lash lift and tint, hence why I've got no um, mascara on. So if I look a bit crazy that's why. Let's try this. This is peach iced tea with some strawberry in. I think it needs a bit of stuff. Let's jump into it. I've never done one of these videos before, and if so, I haven't been sat in the car. I did write them down because if I thought if I was meant to be having my appointment, I could have obviously I can't go on my phone on the way, but I could have just glanced at the um, piece of paper. So I'm going to start off easy. A lot of people asked about my job, so I I do have a job title, but I. It, it's, it's hard so my job basically is all a bit confusing so I work at my dad's company for anyone wondering probably a lot of you guys know that um, and I work as I started off doing like a bit of social media like LinkedIn which I still do however then I kind of moved into the account side of things like basically helping with like a quotes because it's a construction company it's like a window glazing company um, so like I was helping with like quotes like putting um drawing packs together for site bit of an admin admin queen and then recently somebody left so i've then gone on to purchasing so like i wouldn't wouldn't know what that is if i didn't work in construction so that's basically um purchasing all the materials from different suppliers putting like taking them from the lads on site and the project managers and so they can get it in time for site so that's basically my role. I've only been doing it that for a couple of weeks actually and I'm still getting into it. So also ignore the food on my jumper. So that's kind of my job role. Um, I work full time. I work Monday to Friday. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about it. It isn't exciting. It's not, you know, it's obviously not my dream job. However, it's a job and I'm grateful to have a job. Um, also, we'll go on to Uglow. So I had a few questions about Uglow, which is my lip gloss brand if anybody didn't know I started this uh, end of November start of December last year so let's have a look what are your plans for you glow is there any more lip gloss colors coming it's coming next blah blah blah. how do you find running a business what are your visions for you glow okay so my vision for you glow is for it to stay very minimal very aesthetic and my dream product is a fake tan however to be honest that's always been my dream and i've always wanted my own business i've just i've always been the kind of girl that just isn't 100 percent sure what they wanted to do and there's nothing wrong with that i still i do know now but i didn't for a while my, my dream has always been influencing well, not even to do, I didn't even start it to do money I started it years ago um, and I used to make YouTube channels like me and Jodie used to make videos when we were like nine so I've always enjoyed that sort of thing like video and blah 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 like creating content and taking pictures so I started that a couple of years ago blah 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 been doing that um, so that is what I want to do however that isn't a career that isn't my career I earn money off it sometimes i'll go on to that but you glow so last year i had a bit of an epiphany so if i, I mean if you guys want to know the backstory i basically wanted to start a business i was like right let's start making dreams a reality what do i want to do so i typed in how to start a fake tank company and then weirdly like the, not many videos came up it was more like spray tanning businesses and then this girl popped up and it's like how to start a lip gloss company so i was like hmm interesting so i just clicked on this so i clicked on it and it was really weird because i just got so engrossed in this video and then i just got into this deep rabbit hole of like mixing lip gloss videos and things like that and i thought is this a sign and then they just started popping up out of nowhere it was really strange um so i was like yep yeah, okay lip gloss it is so i was like right so i had a little go at making it ordered a few cheap supplies and um, bought some stuff off amazon you know and i was like okay i think i could do this so i had me and dan me and dan were mixing there trying to find colors trying to find new products blah 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 so that's what we did and then i found and then i kind of just i don't know how it's happened since then it's just about to start raining i hope it's not too heavy so that's how it started now i'm in a set routine of 
been tra tra is it called trading like i've had the business since like i said um it was uh what's it called uh black friday so i'm sorry for any mm's likes uh any stutters i get i'm a bit nervous but Right, I'm going to have to cut these M's out, aren't I? I have got five colours of my lip gloss and I'm also, my visions are, so I'm going to bring out some lip oils. I've ordered some tubes for these and I want them to just be staple products for people's skincare. And I mean, I want to keep a bit of secret as well, but I'm kind of thinking not much because I'm not really that type of girl. However, I might just bring like a limited edition, maybe like makeup bag out. I was thinking like a really cool, because my aesthetic is very cream, brown, neutral, natural colours. Um, so I'm thinking of bringing something like that out and then my dream eventually is a fake tan but I want to do the best of what I've got you know make sure they're perfect because I'm improving them all the time that's why the colours may differ you know they're pretty much the same but they differ from time to time because I'm always trying to perfect the formula because I feel like that, what, that's what you should do always trying to improve what you've got right um, so yeah um, that's just expand my brand as much as I kind of can I don't know whether I'll go into other makeup products probably not lip liner maybe i don't really understand how people would make a lip liner because it just looks like a crayon so obviously you can but i don't know how um lip liner maybe to match the lip glosses lips lip glosses maybe more lip oils maybe not lipstick i feel like lipstick isn't really a thing anymore um i actually applied if anyone wants to know the lip combo this is a pr actual a primark lip liner in the color toast and then i've got you glow you make moves on which is a really nice uh pinky nude keep growing keep putting the effort in and if it's um my goal is obviously for it to turn into my thing my full-time job and yeah i've rambled a little bit on, on that so so then my visions for you glow okay where do I live? Okay, so I've had a few about where, where do I live? Why do I live up north? Who do I live with? So, we currently live in my dad's house. He does not live there. He lives in Birmingham. So, it's my dad's house. We're living there and I'm very grateful for him letting us live there. Um, it's just me and Dan who live at home because a lot of people say, like, you always mention your dad but he's not in there. So, my dad doesn't live with us. Um, that's why you'll never see him in a video. Oh my god, that's got the life out of me. It's the uh, window wiper. You'll never see my dad in there. Um, so we live in my dad's house and we live in Staffordshire in Cannock. So it's around there. Obviously, I'm not gonna, they're not going to disclose the address. But a lot of people were like, um, why did you, why didn't you move to Dan's area and he moved to yours? So basically, I, if, if you didn't know, I lived in Somerset for nine years. So from 2012 to... 2000 start of 2021 start of 2021 and we i lived there met dan that's where i met dan you know that's where we got, got together and then basically dan wanted to start a video and i didn't have a proper job i worked at tesco before i actually worked on the customer service desk and we wanted to buy a house we wanted to start progressing in life so my dad was like, okay, well, what about if I kind of, like, create a position for you, blah, 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 like, you can earn a proper wage, Dan can start his business, you can do a bit of saving, you get the gist. So, that is what we've done, and we're planning to move out this year. We're not quite sure when, where, what, how. We're not sure on the statistics, because obviously Dan's only been self-employed for a year. You know, we're just going to see where we stand on the mortgage front. Obviously, prices are very high at the minute, and yeah that's why that's the situation and um, the end because a lot of people ask for a house tour but i can't do that because it isn't my house unfortunately that isn't fair so you're only getting the snippets i could do a room tour but with us planning on moving i'm never going to perfect it and like the bed was always there from when i was younger blah 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 so yeah answered that answered the work one i'm going to answer the elephant in the moon elephant in the room because a lot okay i'm a bit this was the question i was kind of avoiding but i'm I need to talk about it. So I get a lot of comments about this and I delete them off my YouTube videos. I get them on TikTok. And I did have a joint channel, if any of you were unaware. And it was with someone else. So for you guys who know or like were following me then, I was um, had a joint channel with Molly. Um, so... We always knew the joint channel was going to be difficult when I moved. Um, and I'm not here to, to give you any like gossip as such because it isn't fair because there's two sides to every story. And she may have a completely different story to me. But I'm just going to tell you my side 
briefly. Um, and the main reason my dress, I'm addressing it is because you never know what's going on behind clo closed doors. You never know what's happened between two people. And a best friend is as important as a boyfriend, is as important as family. It's someone you go to about your problems. It's someone you want to grow with. And that was what me and Molly were. We were best friends. And and I'm finding it hard because I've been more upset about the whole situation recently anyway. And grieving a best friend is like grieving a partner, so on. And we'll call it... We, the thing is, I, d I find it harder to explain because the youtube channel just kind of just stopped there's no like there's no closure from the whole situation i don't even have closure from the situation there wasn't a row there's not been any there's no bad thing to tell you which makes it worse for me because i feel like because i've had no closure from the situation i'm grieving still and i kind of just got on with it at first like i feel like when any something happens you are either really upset at first and then you kind of just get better or you're okay and then it kind of start it hits you more and more which I feel like that is what's happening to me and I just want people to be mindful that I am a person I do have feelings and with my account growing which of course I'm very grateful for more people kind of question oh I've saw you were, I've got a YouTube channel with me and Molly but I don't want to delete that because that's memories of my life I'm just struggling like if anybody else has been through this like lost like obviously a lot of you guys I assume will have lost a best friend and yeah I feel like I'm going to put it down to growing apart maybe we were different people and I, I thought we were like you know twins but we weren't we weren't i don't think i don't know people change people want different things i feel like we plan to have the same life path but i don't think we do I, I don't know i don't know what to put it down to i can't speak because i don't i can't speak for anyone else's side but my own but mine and that's all i'm just being honest like, but please don't keep commenting what happened to you molly what happened to your joint youtube channel it isn't fair like I'm never gonna I've told you as much as I can tell you because that is genuinely all all I have to tell you I, I there's nothing bad's happened and I'm genuinely upset about it so just be mindful I do have feelings and I don't want to keep being reminded of it. it it was a big part of my life that's changed and like it's changed recently like less than a year like less than six months and I'm you know like I do feel like I'm not over the situation and I do feel sad about it so please um yeah so sorry i i just i don't know how i've never had to say anything like this out loud like i i, I do find it quite difficult because i don't know what's right and what's wrong to say um i don't know what's overstepping the mark of like you know like molly's opinion and things like that but i you know i want to go forward with this channel and i want people if people are curious about what happened this is all i can tell you this is i promise this is all i have to say just please stop commenting it because it's not very nice to me for me to keep seeing like what happened between you and Molly, what happened to your joint channel, why aren't you speaking to her, you fell out with her, like you've had this massive row, that isn't what happened, like there's absolutely nothing that's happened which I think is worse, I wish I could say yeah we fell out, we're not speaking, I don't know, I don't know this, why is she parking next to me, are you joking, so please yeah be be mindful because I am a person, and I'm going to move on from that now because this is, yeah, a lot. Okay, next thing. What else have we got? Where am I from? I was born in Cannock, born in Staffordshire. I moved when I was about 12. So I'm sorry if the lighting's really dark. I hope it isn't. Moved when I was around 12. Um, so, yeah, so I'm now living back in Staffordshire. I don't plan to live here forever. I miss my mum a lot. Um... My mum's one of my best friends in the whole world and I miss her. It's amazing being close to my nan, being, class, uh, being close to all my nans and everybody else, you know. However, I miss my mum a lot. My mum brought me up and um, I've always lived with just me and my mum so we've got a really special bond. So I do miss my mum and I will. our plan is to live by the sea when we're a little bit older. We just wanted to get a salary, you know, make something of ourselves first because we've got really big goals. Um so yeah so that's where i'm from and um, what else 
a lot of people asked um do I feel judged doing social media like when I started do I feel judged now and the answer is now I don't really care to be honest like I, I don't I think do you know what this whatever I'm doing makes me happy I've chose to put whatever it is on the internet so if people don't like it that's kind of their problem and I have a lot of people that support me the only thing is I feel like whether I, oh my god there's a beautiful rainbow let me show you I'll open the door oh my god it's freezing oh that's cold um Sorry for the angles change, I just wanted to show you the rainbow, but I think at first I was definitely nervous to start the channel, which I think most people would be. Um, but do you know what? Now, as I get older, I feel like now I've moved, now I'm, I'm going back on to speaking about the joint channel. I've really flourished in my own confidence, like, I don't need someone beside me to do a try and haul, I don't need somebody to be like, let's do this TikTok, I can do it for myself, I can do it, and like, I can look back and say, you've built this profile that you've built up by yourself, you've got no one to thank but yourself, you know, and, you know, I'm very good friends with Jode, so Jode does it on her own too, so it's nice to have, you know, we're like, independent, but we can go and do things together, get content together, which is really, really nice, but I feel like it's forced me to be independent, which I've really appreciated. Um, and also, coming to terms with everything happens for a reason is a big one. Um, sometimes I don't know why it happens, but obviously there is a reason, and sometimes people come back together and, you know, it's same with relationships, same with best friends, same with family, even, like, anybody. You can, like, me and Jodie didn't speak for eight years and now like look at us like it, it's crazy how like people you just kind of rekindle with people so life's too short to say this will happen and this won't happen um so so that's where i'm from do i feel judged you've got to do what makes you happy you could die next week you could you know you could get poorly i don't know like obviously i wish that on nobody but it's true like life is so short and if you are look I don't want to, what scares me is being 90 and looking back and thinking, I wish I'd have done that business, I wish I'd have spoke to that person, I wish I'd have told that person I love them, I wish I would have gone on that holiday, you've just got to do it, if social media is passion for you, if travelling is passion for you, just do it, who cares, find your own journey and don't listen to people, what, what, what people say, because yeah, I do worry about what people say, and, and like, I need that realisation, like, who cares what anyone thinks, the only people you should care what they think is people you value, like, if you would ask them for advice, if you care about them, if they 100% care about you, you should ask them for advice, like, mate, you should care what they think, but randomers, who gives a fuck, no, life's too short, honestly, um, tattoos, I have two tattoos, I've got a little pinky promise with my mum matching one and I've also got can you see it I've also got this these this was my first tattoo and the first one I had numbing cream for I can't say if it hurt I think this was a weird one personally I didn't understand this at all I think this is weird I I've had a lot of this I had like over six people say this you're rich you've got loads of money and I just want to know why that impression is given off i mean i like to look rich thank you that is one of my goals to be rich but i feel like rich is a very rich is a, isn't a thing like everyone has their own definition of success everyone has their own definition of rich my version of rich will be different different to yours and i'm definitely not where i want to be so i'll call myself not rich okay i'm rich in love and i'm rich in happiness i've got a roof over my head i've got a puppy that i love i've got my family i've got friends that's all i need so we'll call myself rich however if we're talking about a money aspect i i've got a job a basic salary job that's nothing it's a normal salary, I can promise you that. Like, I take home what a lot, I'm sure, that what a lot of people take home. Also, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's just literally an average salary for my wage, I assume. Um, it's nothing special. My, the only money I make over that is if I have a brand deal, which I've only, this has literally started this year, so I've had a couple of brand deals, a lot, a lot. 
and um, the only way I make money is um, commission off a link. Uh, I've only just started actually learning about this that some people can make a lot of money from links so that's something I'm going to have a look at to be honest because if people are buying it I didn't realise you could even make commission off it so that's something I don't earn money off that I've only earned a little bit from DHgate because I have been gifted a few things from DHgate and another thing designer bags literally I've got one two designer bags that are real um a lot of them are dupes nothing wrong with that if you, I, I can't afford to spend two grand on a bag, nine grand on the Chanel bag I want. So that's just me being honest. So I don't know how I look rich. I mean, I'm going to take it as a compliment, but there's your answer. Um, my favourite, we'll go with a light-hearted one, shall we? My favourite perfume and my favourite tan. My favourite tan, I don't feel like I'll ever have one. It'll be the one I create. Um, but I like... I like mixing, so this is not helpful for any of you. I've been really liking St. Moritz, the one hour one, mixed with Barley Body Express. And I really like the blue St. Tropez one. I've not got a favourite. I've got a favourite face tan, if that helps. St. Tropez, the white, the clear serum for your face. And it's got like pinky, it's like gradual bronzy serum. If I can be bothered, I'll put it on screen now. That's my favourite face tan, and that doesn't make my acne worse. So yeah, um, what else have we got? Oh, favourite perfume. Oh, I really like, I've always liked Olympia. I like Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. I like, what's it called? Um, Morning Roma by Valentino. I like, I do like Baccarat Rouge, but I don't own it. Um, what other perfumes do I like? My probably most warm one is Ariana Grande Thank You Next, I'd say. And my Valentina one's lovely. Am I renting? No. Um, I've got so many on here, I'm getting a bit confused. Kids. Kiddies. I had a lot about babies when babies are coming. If I'm honest, I don't know. There's no pressure on it. I don't feel like I'm... I want kids... Like, I'd... I want children, I, we don't know how many, I'd probably say like we want two or three, um, I'd probably say two, maybe three, I don't know, I don't know how the birth's going to go and things like that, so I feel like that's hard to say, but we do want children and I feel like maybe sooner rather than later, like I want to be a young parent, but I'd like to have more money than I have now, I'd like to be, more, be a bit more financially secure, have a house um, to bring them up in. Because I feel like people say, like, I'll oh, travel before you have kids. But you can travel with kids. You know, like, Rory, my puppy, he's more of an obstacle with travelling than a child. So, and we can still do a lot. Like, you know, you can do pretty much anything with a child apart from get, you know, take them into a club, which we don't do anyway. We're very, you know. So, kids, I don't know. If, I can't tell you, but there's no time scale. Like, I, if, say, if it happened now, I wouldn't object. If it happened in a couple of years, I wouldn't object. But my, I'm going to have to restart the camera. It's going to get hot one sec. Okay, we're back. Um, another one about COVID jab. Why don't I have my COVID jab? I don't want it. And, the, you know, I've had COVID and, and I did feel poorly with it, but I'm not I think it's a choice and people are bullied into thinking it's the only way to move forward and we were no f further forward with people having it. This is just my opinion. I don't want to hear your opinion if it's different. This is my opinion. I'm allowed it. It's my body. So I don't want the jab. I'm never going to get the jab. And I, I, I'm very... I've never taken any drugs. Never. Don't smoke. Don't drink alcohol because I hate things going inside my body. Like that's something that really scares me like I've got quite bad health anxiety that's something that you'll learn new um and things being inside my body and especially with all the rumors about the side effects fine if they were rumors don't care irrelevant that worried me and it made me not want it simple as that but yes you're very shy around new people correct and you wouldn't think I'd be shy because I'm very but I'm always like sitting in a the camera there's nobody here obviously I know people are going to watch it but I'm not like I don't know I can't do you know what I mean? Like, I am quite shy and I'm a bit awkward, actually, around new people. So I do get a bit scared. Like, a few people have said, oh, I saw it. Like, I've seen you. Like, what, I've watched you on TikTok. And I do get a bit embarrassed and panicky. I can't, I can't lie. But I love speaking to people. And as soon as I've, like, seen someone 
a couple of times and it's not awkward um I'm like this I'm a chatty little monkey but I do get a little bit nervous yeah I do get nervous about meeting people I get nervous about ringing people that is just who I am um so yeah but once you know me I'm very chatty um but please if anyone does, does see me or anything like that I love talking to people so please come up to me just expect me to be like hello like when me and Jodie first reunited it was very awkward for a couple of times but it is what it is um so let's what else have we got how do you rewind um i really struggle when i come home in your vlogs you look easy to rewind not correct i do have a lot of anxiety um sometimes more than others sometimes i go to bed i'm fine sometimes i do worry but i don't show that on camera because everyone's got their own struggles at the end of the day like do you want to be bothered about me not really um so i honestly when i see dan like when i'm with dan I find it very more easy to rewind because I feel more comfortable, there's no stress there, we've got a very healthy relationship. So, yeah, so, but my favourite way is to rewind. Have a shower or bath, take my makeup off, be comfortable. A big one for me is being comfortable, so like getting in my pyjamas, whipping. I was going to say take my bra off, I never wear a bra, or taking my bra let off. Um, and just being comfortable, um, good like snacks good food um journaling if i'm anxious reading a book um watching youtube videos like my favorite youtubers um what else i don't know um like just spending time with rory going for a walk sometimes going to the gym depends how i feel if i feel forced it doesn't de-stress de me but like just things like that really um so that's how I kind of de-stress. I don't know if that's very helpful, but I feel like you kind of have to find your own way to de-stress. Like everyone has a different relaxation vibe. Do you know what I mean? How do I eat healthy all the time? <laughs> I don't. I do not eat healthy all the time. I try, but I don't. We have a couple takeaways a week. We can't lie. But that's who I am. I haven't got my goal body. <laughs> and what even is a goal body? Like if we didn't follow any influencers, would we be that unhappy with our body? Probably not. So I'm this year I'm going to stop putting so much pressure on it like eating green vegetables every day isn't really stick for me I can't do it so I'm not going to make myself miserable by doing it I'm going to try and make healthier choices yes but if me and Dan get a McDonald's we get a McDonald's if we don't go to the gym we don't go to the gym as long as we're healthy we're happy that's all that matters we've got no illness but I'm very grateful you know my body's healthy I don't have any illnesses that I know about that's all that matters to me i want to stop stopped putting so much pressure on it and yeah i've got to have more discipline but you've got to live as well you know you can't stop living for health and fitness this is just my personal opinion this is how i feel i look at people like megan grubb and i think you are jaw-droppingly beautiful like your body is incredible have I got the discipline to look like you? I don't think I do, so I have to accept that. I'm, and I, it's just it all comes to do with comparing again. Like you got to stop comparing yourself. You're never going to be them. Would you actually want to be them if you had to take on their problems? Would you actually want to live with Niall, for example? Would you want Bluebell and Basil as your dogs? Like, would you want to be them through and through? Probably not. So it's really awkward. People have just pulled up. So you've just got to live your life and make the best of your life. What you've got. Like I'm very curvy. Like I'm never gonna be size six straight up and down. So I'm never gonna try and achieve that because I can't. I can't physically achieve that. I can only do what my. I can make the best version of my body. So I think if you do want to, just do the best version of you. That's all you like. You just need to, like, focus on improving yourself. Nobody else. Um, are they? having a breakup talk or something because can you just move your car a bit um my camera's over here and again one sec hey sorry i had and um, my thing's getting a little bit hot my camera but gym so also the gym i have really good weeks and weeks where i go five days a week smash it i've been trying to do weights four or five times a week with cardio for at least for at least 20 minutes and some swimming do not take that as gospel. I haven't been to the gym since before I had COVID, so two weeks now I have not been to the gym. And diet, I don't really follow a diet. I think the best thing to do, I don't even do this at the minute because I find I have to be in the right mindset to track calories because I think they're quite toxic sometimes. So find out your maintenance calories. I don't really know how you do it myself. I know there's thousands of calorie trackers online. And then my the um, a lad at the gym basically said, 
take 200 off that eat that for a few weeks if you don't lose anything drop it a little bit more and kind of just gauge it yourself look it's a it's a it's a process i'd say and i haven't got it nailed i know when when i can lose weight but that's by strict measurements 150 grams of chicken 50 grams of rice and i, oh, I do struggle to live with like that and i can't lie um i did do it and i lost a bit of weight and then as soon as i stopped i put it all back on so i feel like it's got to be gradual but slow and I do like, I enjoy going to the gym when I get into it and I love seeing progress at the gym, like more muscle, blah, blah, blah. I've never seen the progress that I really want to see at the gym, like weight off my stomach. But abs come from the kitchen, babies. So I don't necessarily follow a diet. I try and eat veg with every meal, not carbs with every meal. I try and eat protein. But I love a snack. I love crisps. And I love a takeaway. So don't take advice off me i'm very like realistic and just a bit if you want serious more health inspo I'll go to jodie because she's a lot more healthier than me she's very strict she could eat broccoli and rice for the rest of her life and i just don't get it but that's that's everyone's different so um what car are you get thinking of getting i'm not sure i want a bigger one so my dream car is like a either a, a re a g-wagon or a jeep wrangler I can't afford one of those right now. So I'm thinking, maybe, I don't know. I'm worth looking at 4x4s along, we've looked at some Range Rovers, we've looked at some Range Rovers, some Porsches, like lots of different ones, you know, we're not sure. We're not sure, we just kind of need to see how much. My car's not back till December, but there's a, it's up to like a, good wait list like if you ordered one in the next two weeks off this company it could come as late as october so i'll probably start looking the next couple of weeks so that's just a hint i don't know might be could be a volkswagen could be a citroen could be another mercedes i don't know currently i have a mercedes gla because i do get questions about that you and dan have a good relationship yes me and dan i'm so blessed uh, we haven't had in the past it's been a it's been a process and we've really had to work on it we've been together just over five years and i'd say the first two years were, were crap but we came out the other side of it um i love dan to pieces like you know i don't ever see myself not being with him um we've got an amazing relationship there's no pressure on the relationship we're both very happy and yeah that's all i kind of have to say like i'm very lucky to have done i'm very grateful for him weird weird assumption why do you put socks over the pants so much and wear baggy jogger sets why are you worried what i'm wearing is my answer to you hun if i had three wishes what would they be i know it's not possible but if i had a free if one of my wishes i dying is something that like stresses me out and i know none of us can live forever but i one of my wishes is that me and my loved ones would just stay like forever and didn't get really really old just stayed as we were now and yeah another wish is kind of like that me and my whole family just would have no money or money struggles like they would all like i'd love to have all the money in the world and pay off their mortgages for them pay off everything that's stressing them out like and stopping them from living how they want to i'd like like to just take that away from them and another wish just i don't know i feel like wishes i don't know i just to be genuinely happy and healthy is a big goal of mine and i think if you haven't you know you've got not got anything massively wrong with you and like all your, your family hasn't and you you know you smile a couple times a day i feel like you're doing well like you're doing better than a lot of people some people don't have uh, people are dying some people don't have any limbs some people have got serious illnesses some people are deaf blind we've got so much to be grateful for that we just forget like like we take seeing for granted every day smelling hearing talking breathing walking running holding things typing on the computer you know a lot of people would dream to have some of our lives so i just think just i don't know i know i've gone on a bit of a tangent but yeah that's my answer to that one okay i've put the car on because i'm a little bit cold um but my, i'm gonna do one more and then i'm gonna kind of go so i had someone say you never buy any clothes you get them all sent to you by brands that isn't true at all if you saw my bank balance you'd you'd believe me if you were in my office and had to get up to get as many parcels as i do i am a shopaholic a serious shopaholic i love clothes love them more than anything else all of my money goes on clothes to be honest this is why dan's there so this is 
an intro into our relationship. Dan's the saver, I'm the spender. I buy our food and stuff. And also another thing was, one of our questions was, how do you save money? And I personally can't save money. I'm rubbish at saving money. Whereas this is why I'm grateful to have Dan because he saves the money and I spend it on fuel, food, clothes, what he needs, blah, blah, blah. And that's just what works for our relationship. It might not work for yours, but I'm rubbish at saving. So I spend what money I've got and I earn. Um, and that, and that's fine. I don't have to worry about putting money away because Dan's doing that for me. Thank you very much, hon. Um, so yeah, I, I do get sent the odd thing. I don't get sent loads. I get sent, I'm very grateful for what I get sent. I get sent things from Missy Empire. I've been sent things from only a couple of times, pretty little thing, only a couple of times Boohoo. Um, I decline a lot of collaborations actually. Things that I wouldn't buy from, I don't, genuinely don't except because i just think i don't want to do a tiktok with your clothes this isn't me being rude i'm just saying i decline a lot of like people have asked me to do false eyelashes hair extensions and i don't don't have, do them i've got natural hair this is my own natural hair I don't have hair extensions so why would i put it in just for a gifted collaboration that i just think's wasting their product and also false eyelashes i don't wear them never wear them never have so i don't i don't want it i'm very grateful that more my tiktok grows i'm getting more and more offers but a lot of them to be honest i don't I, I don't know i would if i genuinely like the brand or i'm interested yeah i will i don't think there's anything wrong with that because i work hard i work full time i'm trying to grow my business and i make sure i put content out every day so it's kind of a bit of a you know i don't know why people have a problem with people earning money and getting gifted because you should be proud of them like if you support them you should be proud of them forget like that's why they're doing it you know, it's like, and it's free advertisement for brands, so I understand why they do it too. So, oh yeah, I do spend a lot of money on clothes. Like, don't hope you're not under the impression that I get so much gifted because I don't. I do get things gifted, which I usually state on my YouTube channel, and I'm very grateful for. Um, but I also buy a lot of clothes myself. You know, I brands give you like a limit of how many things, a budget. Budget does not work for me. I then purchase. You know, three, four hundred friendly little thing orders and boohoo orders and ASOS and so on. You know, brands don't, well, not following my following, they don't give you that sort of budget. So I feel like I've spoke a lot. This is a long video. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you want me to do another one. And yeah, just appreciate I am a human, do have feelings and yeah i don't ever mean any offense to anybody that all opinions are mine so i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you soon bye